positive in Bitcoin. We have, uh, uh, we have in our Big Ideas 2023, which you can find on our website, we have a price target uh, in 2030 of $1.3 million. It's only 21,000 now. Uh, and we can show you the building blocks, how we get there. In today's video, ARK Invest CEO, Kathy Wood provides an update on the current state of the global economy, including growing inflation, rate hikes, and the repercussions of the recession. Kathy also discusses the main justifications for her expectation that the Fed will make a substantial policy reversal over the next three to six months and that there will be a sea change in the coming few months. Stay tuned to see Kathy Wood disclose her Bitcoin price forecast for 2030. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video so that you don't miss anything at all. Hi Cryptopreneur, what is your favorite crypto? Let us know in the comments. If you like making crazy money with crypto, this is the place for you. Here we explore new gems and explain the best new tiny undervalued cryptos with 100x or even 1000x potential. You will also find all the news of the crypto space every single day. So make sure to subscribe and activate notifications for all the upcoming videos. Follow us on our social channels and join as members for added perks. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Kathy Wood has strong positive opinions about Bitcoin. In 2030, she is confident that Bitcoin will reach the $1.3 million mark. I just described that concentration strategy. People would say, oh, well, my goodness, you're taking more risk. No, we're not. We, we have a scoring system, and which naturally takes us towards higher scoring names during corrections. Uh, so it's, a, it's kind of a pruning of the portfolio. And in terms of hedging, we, that's not what we do. That's what asset allocators do. That's what uh, advisors uh, do. We are a slice of their portfolios. A and they will, they will position, depending on clients' risk tolerance, they will position us anywhere from 2% of their portfolios towards 10%. And as I said, I think in the broad-based benchmarks, uh, our strategies, our stocks, will end up at more than 60%. So we are in very early days. And that's why we encourage our investors as well to get on the right side of change. It's been awfully painful. And believe me, I do feel it. And we're completely committed. We actually uh, uh, increased our own ownership of our firm in the middle of all of this. That's how mm -hmm. high our conviction is. And almost every employee participated in that. According to Kathy Wood, if inflation is going to drop rather dramatically, that will be extremely beneficial for growth stocks. I think if we're right about what's going on in the economy right now, and inflation is going to come down uh, fairly dramatically, that will be a big positive uh, for growth stocks. Uh, the, the, the compression in our performance, what we do during periods like this, is we concentrate our holdings towards our highest conviction name. So we have taken our flagship strategy from 55 names down to 33 names. Uh, we did the same thing during COVID, but that was just a one month worth of pain. And it was awfully painful over a month. Uh, and from the lows in COVID, we, um, we moved up in the span of less than a year uh, by 360%. So that was uh, probably uh, you know, ahead of its time. We've corrected uh, tremendously, tremendously. And now we have many what I would consider deep value stocks if you give us a five-year investment time horizon. In terms of the profit impact will be under enormous pressure. According to Kathy Wood, this is a pivoting point that will affect the macro story until some of these cost declines make it through and inventories are cleared. Also, let's see Kathy Wood's opinions on the failing economy and the worldwide recession. So the Fed is looking at the PCE deflator, which peaked in February at 5.3%. It's down to 4.6%. And we believe we've already seen some negative numbers. Uh, nobody believes them. Uh, we do. And uh, we believe we're going to see some more negative numbers during the next uh, three to six months. So uh, wouldn't be surprised to see it well down into the threes uh, in the next three to six months, if not into that two handle. And I think if we get enough sequential declines, uh, that the Fed will change its tune quite dramatically. Well, I think that the Fed will be looking at the sequential numbers, many of which will be negative, and, uh, and that will encourage them. Even if we don't have that two handle, we're in the threes and we're coming down quickly, I think they'll change their tune and uh, 
perhaps they will take interest rates up 75 basis points this time, but the next time, 25 to 50 basis points, and then following that, we shall see. Well, we think profits are going to be under tremendous pressure. Uh, and uh, until some of these cost declines make it through and inventories are cleared. Now, we do not think this will be anything like 08, 09, which I know many people fear. Uh, we think it's much more of a, an inventory recession and a drag from the rest of the world, Europe being crushed by energy prices, China being uh, or, or readjusting to, quote unquote, common prosperity. Uh, so I think it'll be more of an inventory recession. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of denial that we are in recession. We think we are. Uh, we think it's an inventory recession and that we'll be coming out next year, whereas many people, are, uh, forecasters are saying, we'll be going in next year. So I, I actually think the market will be looking up uh, as, as we're exiting this. Kathy Wood believes that a massive amount of deflation in the system will be the reason for the pivot. Because of this, Kathy Wood anticipates a dramatic shift in policy pivot over the next three to six months. Yes. Um, well, he repeated what he said in Jackson Hole, essentially. Uh, they're focused only on prices. Now, they have a dual mandate, employment and prices. Frankly, I'm happier that they're focused on more of a price rule. So that's good. Uh, but I think the reason for the pivot uh, is going to be a, a massive amount of deflation uh, in the system. It's already here. Uh, if you look at commodity prices, the gold price, for example, it actually peaked in August of 2020. And it's at the lower end of a two-year range, while copper has broken down, oil is breaking down, lumber has crashed, uh, iron ore as well. Uh, uh, freight rates out there are suggesting that the supply chains are loosening up quite significantly. The rates are coming down. So we've got deflation in the system. And, and the way I describe what's going on right now, I was uh, in, uh, in my early days uh, in, in my career, in the early 80s, when Volcker was taking a sledgehammer to inflation because it was embedded in the system after 15 years of profligate spending, Vietnam War, Great Society, and then going off the gold exchange standard. A sledgehammer, that's what he needed. That is what I believe um, uh, Chairman Powell thinks he needs. And we just don't think that's true because we see so much deflation. And then one more thing. We also see a massive inventory overhang around the world. You've got Europe in recession, China in recession, effectively. And here in the United States, retailers are bulging with inventories, which will have to be cleared with discounts. So we think we're going to see some major downside surprises in inflation during the next three to six months. Did Kathy Wood foresee a significant change in the near future? According to Kathy Wood, the value of the global public equity markets, which is currently $8 trillion, will increase to more than $200 trillion in the next five to 10 years. Well, we do think there's been some labor hoarding in here. The, the employment numbers have looked strong. If you if you peel the onion a bit, the, the underbelly of employment is not strong. Uh, with household employment essentially flat over the last four to five months, which includes a lot of small businesses. That's that's where we see a lot of um, uh, the pain right now. Uh, but the labor hoarding is because companies couldn't get labor during the, the supply shock and the COVID. And, uh, and so now that they can, they're holding on a little longer than I think they would normally. Uh, I'd be surprised if we go all the way to 6%. Uh, I do think the inventory recession will be uh, somewhat sharp and will take the un uh, unemployment rate up. Uh, but I'd be surprised to see us get all the way to 6%. So what are your thoughts about Kathy's perspective on Bitcoin and the stock market? Tell us in the comments. We hope we were able to provide some value and helped you to move a step ahead in your crypto journey. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur and get yourself the highest quality crypto merch available right now on the market and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.